Number 21, <coughs> Econometrics in Practice. So today I am going to talk about logarithmic function of y and or x. Why do we take log? First of all, we, uh, we need to understand this. In general, we take log of a function if a data may become uh, linear from nonlinear. May become. Data may become homoscedastic from heteroscedastic. Heteroscedastic data may become homoscedastic. Data, non normal data, may become normal by using logarithmic function. Here we are going to see log of dependent variable or log of x. Uh, in our previous video 21, uh, 20, we have discussed. Uh, a polynomial uh, uh, regression function or nonlinear regression function in variables. So, another important thing uh, when we take log of uh, 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 variables and we take the difference, it may be expressed uh, very closely to the uh, uh, growth, uh, 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 growth form. For example, log of y2021, log of 20. 20 GDP minus log of 2019 GDP that's almost same as change in y over uh, 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 that is almost equal to y20 minus GDP in 19 divided by GDP in 2019 so it's almost equal that's what we are talking here if the time period is short then it's very close approximation. If time period between two uh, uh, values get large, uh, for example, y20 and uh, y2010 uh, uh, GDP, then, then it may not be that good approximation. So here we are going to discuss three cases. In each case, you have a different interpretation of a coefficient. Yi equal to beta naught beta 1 log of xi. So in this case, a interpretation of beta 1 is different. Log of yi beta naught beta 1 xi different interpretation of beta 1 log of yi log of xi different interpretation of beta 1 and ho, uh, moreover when we take log of y and you have log of y here there are squares are comparable because total sum of square is based on log of yi but log of yi and log of yi there r square is not comparable because total sum of squares in this case is based on yi and in this case it is log of yi whereas we know numerator is always explained sum of squares or regression sum of squares so this uh, this changes from this uh, first form to another one so if your dependent variable is not of the same nature two models r square is not comparable now let's go and see the first model linear log in this case we take log of x only and the rest before and after that we have discussed already in our previous videos it's almost beta 1 is equal to change in y due to percent change in x change in y due to percent change in x and this will be interpreted as uh, uh, delta y over change in uh, percent a change in x a 1% increase in x is associated with a 0 0.01 change in y a uh, beta 1 delta y will be equal to 0 0.01 beta 1 unit so that's that's how we increase uh, how we how we uh, interpret it for example we take log of income so it means that if income is changed by 1% there will be an increase in test score by 0 0.642 units R square will the standard error they, they have standard interpretation so here you have log linear log and cubic log so you see how close approximation this linear log is to cubic log when you have district income and test score so by taking log you you have uh, reduced a third degree polynomial x1 x1 square x1 cube instead of that you have just taken log of x and you have regressed y on log of x so it's simple so and uh, it's it's um, simple to interpret and secondly it consumes less degree of freedom 
log of y equal to beta 1 x so its interpretation will definitely change by the, uh, the, uh, the percent a change in x the y divided by change in x and that means that one percent a change in x one unit will lead to 100 beta 1 percent change in y so you can look into the, uh, the, uh, these uh, bullets and you can understand it next one is the most commonly used and very simple to interpret that is beta 1 is elasticity percent a change in x leads to per home and beta 1 percent change in y that is percent a change in y due to percent a change in x this is elasticity and if we remove y and x from here that's the slope so there is a difference between slope and elasticity and if you take y bar and x bar that is elasticity calculated at means so that's a 1% change in X is associated with a beta 1% change in Y and beta 1 is here elasticity. Beta 1 has the interpretation of an elasticity. Uh, uh, here 0 0.0054, uh, 1% 5, 5, change in a, a log of income leads to uh, 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 0.000554 uh, change in uh, 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 change in test score that is 1% increase in income is associated with an increase of 0.0554% or 0.000554 change in Y uh, <coughs> that's 10% that's, uh, increase leads to the how much change 15% uh, change in, uh, leads to how much change uh, there, are, there are some issues when we do forecasting for this based on log of uh, test score and then if we need to inter uh, convert it into uh, its original units that is test score so th there are there are some complications we will not talk here about those complications here you see the district income and log of test score district income and log of test score here log log is better fit than linear log although the, the, uh, yes that's that's the case so uh, uh, I'm going to wind up three cases we have discussed and uh, your standard, uh, uh, just your statistical influence and all those things remain same except that your R square is not comparable when your dependent variable is uh, not of the same form. There, there are some other uh, uh, nonlinear regression functions. These are uh, basically nonlinear in parameters and nonlinear in parameters are different than nonlinear regression functions in variables because your estimation method and uh, other things will also change nonlinear least square method of maximum likelihood estimation and all these things will come in and we'll discuss it uh, in log it probit models and at some other uh, other places thank you for watching take care